I'm so glad I did this solo wreck emission. I wonder how the home front is doing without me or anyone else there. Meanwhile. Before we get into this, I just wanted to say um, thank you off the last short. That was a very large amount that I didn't expect to see happen. Oh off yeah, I, I got one of these finally. That. Pop these on so people don't know I'm married. Oh man, upset or whatever that joke of a word is anymore. Let's not sit on the spike, that may help us just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh no. Keeping that in, that's funny. <laughs> I tested this one before I sat down. So, welcome back. Long time no see, genuinely. So today's topic that I wanted to go over, that I've been delaying and telling the people on Discord I was gonna go over for a while, is the sentry position. And why I think, for most people, it's probably the most important thing they should do. Now, before people start to go crazy and think, whoa, that's not Minuteman mindset, bro. You gotta be ready for a quick response one. First of all, calm down. You're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Okay. So that's a tangent. I'm gonna stop there. Maybe that'll be another video. But the sentry position and why it's important is what I was supposed to go into today. Is it's the, the easiest bar of entry into a position that's actually could be used and scaled up from your front window to a fob to an outpost that's actually built up now realistically you're not going to have like the burger king fobs that people had in, in afghanistan you're not having a burger king fob no one's gonna be making you a fresh burger patty every day it's not gonna be fancy life it's gonna be fun unfun night rotations that everyone's gonna have to deal with and suck it up sleeping through the night probably not gonna happen but having someone with even the least technical platform there is with the least amount of equipment on it there's no magnification no illumination no red dot on this no suppressor there's a stick that shoots tiny rocks and a sharp stick on the very end of the longer stick that shoots the tiny rocks secondly probably gonna be this is where the people that are your least trained should go Everyone wants to be that CQB operator idea concept, which realistically you shouldn't be doing much of anyways. Hey, you're perfect. You know they're contained in. Why push in? Let them stay in. Tangent for another day. You need to stay focused and on track here. You need like a notebook. You just read these things off as I go. Nerd! But continuing forward. Secondly, it's an asset that can be done by your least trained people. The only asset it takes is basic rifle marksmanship, is BRM. Because all they need is a perch. It's, it's supported shooting. That's it. That's all a sentry position really is. I mean, it could go up beyond that. But realistically speaking, it's probably not. They sit in a spot with a rest in the rifle. That's it. <laughs> it's getting cold out here. cut that cough out but um <clears throat> god i'm in the shade now it's getting cold
It could be whatever system they have. There's no need to have dedicated equipment for them. They just need a, a basically a desk to throw all the equipment and maybe a sandbag or just keep it behind a window. That's it. That's all it takes for a sentry. I mean, you, you can scale them up. There's so much stuff you can do, a sentry position, watchtower, all the, all the fun stuff that people like to make things that are simple, complicated out of. What do you got over there? Something chirping. Ugh, weird bird. It's where the people that are your least physically fit, least trained people can go. Because telling someone to do a patrol that's five, ten miles with even, I think this, no, the last time I checked, it's like ten pounds worth of gear, could critically injure them. This fucking fat fuck has better guns than me. Which is a sad, sad fact of life. There's people that are in those positions, and I want to help improve people and improve myself. But you got to accept them some facts of life. They're not everyone's peak physical performance. Um, third thing with it is, it increases your actual span of control, having someone in a sentry position. It's like everyone wants to have all these radios and stuff, but you're all within like five feet of each other. So it's really just you're making your, your electronic hearing protection a little bit better with a PTT. But who are you talking to? If you're all in that mindset of the recon or the forward operating, your LPOPs and all that other fun shenanigan words that everyone loves to use. Do you have someone sitting back at home? A fun little video at the beginning of this. There is some some videos in there if you don't know what they're from, or from people that were at their homes and there was no one there to protect them. Now, I don't know if it's just me. I'd much rather, if I'm doing and conducting whatever it is, no matter how long it is, know that I have a friend who I can at least confidently entrust that if they something's happening, they can protect my family with this. May not be our best equipment. In fact, if you want to go the opposite route, give them the best equipment with the best capabilities to help with their, their crutches. Give them crutches to their hindrances. Give them magnification. Give them the lasers. Give them the tripods, bipods, all the fun words, all the fun extendo mags, all the fun stuff help make that job easier for them and you go out with this you go out with this the stick and the sharp stick would you have a little more easement if you have a family at home i would so that's why with my friends we have someone who's going to be staying back with not this rifle because this is my rifle but they stay back and we have radios so i can talk to them if needed if something's going back and we need to bail back I'd rather have someone I know how to communicate with on the radio. I love my wife to death. I'm not in trouble. I'm not going to give her that stress. I'm not going to do that. Absolutely not. I love the woman to death. She has too much anxiety for that. Now that <coughs> that a personal anecdote? Yes. Do I care? No. Because that's why I'm doing it and why I'm talking about it. And when you get back from something, Let's just be honest here. That job's not done. You relieve that person for a little bit. Let them take a break. Cycle it out when you're just in that garrison mode. If you if you have that fun the military experience, you know that term garrison mode, and you have your deployment mode, your field environment, your garrison environment. They asked me um, why I hate the military. The stick was annoying my foot. I moved it. But it's just a concept that I just wanted to get out there. Do I have any technical drawings of how these should be set up absolutely not because i don't know where you live what works for my environment is definitely gonna be different than your environment another thing is they don't need to be wearing camouflage they just wear day clothes like that sweater over there or sweatshirt wear some plain day clothes my ass kicking outfit bitch less they look like this the better probably if they're just looking like they're in a window sitting down reading a book and they just got that sitting that's right below the window sill they can look over, maybe have a pair of binoculars, range finders, those tools that people always like to recommend. Maybe have one of those set aside. So, oh, hey, that's not someone we know. Radio over. Hey, we're seeing people we don't know. See, they give you that fun, what's that? A salute report, all that fun stuff of who they are. Those big acronym communications that are supposed to be used for big army, big military. Try to scale them down. 
and you can simplify it, say, hey, we have this many people approaching, we don't know who they are. Is there something I'm supposed to know? Maybe you found someone who's supposed to be coming to your group. Would you like to communicate that? Yeah, things like that should be definitely communicated. Where it's like, no, they're not supposed to. All right, get back soon. Simple as that. It gives people who are not in that mindset to do other tasks. Are you gonna garden? Because you can't just do this. This is not the only thing you can do with your life. You're gonna starve. You're gonna dehydrate. You're gonna get botulism. You're gonna get an infection if this is all you worry about. Or you can have someone who's prepping hot water for you, like actually kindling fires and keeping hot water warm, repairing tools. You got someone who's good at repairing. Maybe they shouldn't go out. Gailey, you'll successfully hit the metal 17 times. So Field. Maybe they should be there with this guy working on machining. You're more your people that aren't physically fit but have those trades should be staying back. But having them have someone, try not to look back because I don't know why that looks stupid on camera, but someone watching over them can help. It's just a basic concept. Everyone knows that term, outside or inside the wire. Because the wire realistically is just a deterrent. It's not an actual defense. Wire is a deterrent. That's the actual wire, is the person who's standing in that in-between zone of the wire, of the wire. That's that person who's standing there, your sentry position. Yeah, depends on your scale of people, because realistically, there's not going to be a lot of people that you're going to have. But knowing that you have one person who can set aside, I know I'm kind of circling back to those fun things of that mindset of, hey, that ease of mind. I mean, we see everyone build, this may be another thing, for your specialized augmented rifleman. Maybe if you have everyone's good to go, all your guys are set, great dudes, great fitness, not me. Um, some dude who has that augmented rifle, whether that be in more of the RPK style, or that DMR, like the M110, one of those, the SAS rifles, whatever you want to call them, I don't care your SPR, your special purpose rifle. Every rifle is special purpose. You should try to make every rifle you have utilitarian in some aspect. This can be used for coyotes for me. Another tangent for another day about too many people having too many special rifles. But what's great about your augmented rifles, they're heavier, but this person isn't going anywhere. They're in a fixed fire position, practicing basic rifle marksmanship. It's not that hard. They can have all their stuff on, like I said before, on a desk, ready to go. Maybe some bandoliers, uh, Operation Detachment Gorilla Gang. Those guys make great bandoliers. USGI ones work too. You throw like two or three of those loaded up on a table. There's no need to have an LBE, LBV, or a chest rig wearing that all day. I mean, if they're going to wear something, maybe Kevlar, if you want them to be more on that overt style. But soft armor, something like that. Um, I forgot the channel. I'm gonna have to look for it real quick, see if I can find it and throw some links in for the guy who does like some actual like house armoring. But you do that to one of your one of your best vantage points in your house, hey, you're you're good for a while. Alright, I'm probably gonna close the video out here. I'm just gonna say it again. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Just spending the time listening to the tangent. If you guys like the tripod system, a little bit more professional. <laughs> I'm not that. Uh, content, uh, let me know. If you have anything that could be done to help improve these videos, please let me know as well. All right. I don't have an outro saying or anything like that yet. That's not my no I'll have to work on. But uh, thanks.